Hi, I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. We're here with a really special guest, Zias. I'm Zias Caravalla from ZK Research. I have been following DevNet, actually, I was thinking about this, since 2001, before it was called that, and I've watched all the different instantiations of things before it called something else, before it became DevNet. So that's been pretty interesting to watch. Uh, it's, it's so different than it was even just a few years ago. I think you're starting to see an acceleration in growth, and I think what's happening is network engineers are finally on board with uh, automation. Uh, they're getting more comfortable with software, and I think this industry did itself a bit of disservice early on, where there was this thesis that everybody had to be a developer, right? And, I, and uh, you don't have to be a developer to work with software. You have to be software fluent, and I think that the stigma about how difficult that is has gone away, and I think that's a really uh, helped the, the overall community accelerate its growth, and I, and I expect that to continue. We really appreciate that because we have had different messages since we launched DevNet Create. We want to build this community. You were here, the first DevNet Create, the second, and you're back now. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, the first one was very focused, right? And uh, it, was, it was focused largely at a small group of developers that I think were primarily IoT based, if I remember correctly, I think some cloud. Uh, now it's much broader. In fact, if you, uh, if, if you looked at, if you were in Mandy's session earlier today in the keynote, it really described how DevNet can apply to security, to data center, to collaboration, to contact center, really anything you can think of now in the Cisco world, DevNet's applicable to. And I think the first one was just a, a, a very tiny kind of microcosm of what we're seeing today, but it was uh, it, you know it, a little bit of crawl, walk, run, and you were crawling then, and you could argue that you were walking last year and now you're starting to run, and I think the applicability of DevNet across the portfolio has never been more apparent, and I think that's one of the good things for the show this year. You remember correctly, our first DevNet Create, we called it the IoT and Cloud Conference. Right, yeah, that's right, it was IoT and Cloud. Uh, but now it's much broader, I mean, general networking, collab, context center, really anything you can think of, security, in fact, the, the security demo they showed earlier today was fantastic, people clapped at the end of it, so it shows what a big pain point that is and uh, how much value DevNet can bring to it. It's so cool to have you here in person, but we read each other pretty much every day. Yep. Tell us about the content that you see and why you follow the different people from DevNet. Yeah, I, I think the the content on, on DevNet has gotten uh, broader. There's more uh, business applicability. It's not quite as techni technical as it once was. And I think that's really important, is understanding not just what DevNet can do for the engineer, but how it's going to transform businesses, how it's going to really help industries transform in a way, right? And I, I think uh, Susie and I were talking about this earlier, about the, the value add that DevNet brings. It's not just at the engineer level now. There's this whole world of digital transformation happening. Companies are trying to find new ways of doing things. And really, from a, that, that's largely led from the developer. And now Cisco can be part of that ecosystem. Thank you so much for being here. We always want your feedback, and we really, really appreciate it. No, it's a good event. I mean, the enthusiasm is up. You can see the, there's lots of excitement here. I, the, the, the demos have been good. I think the, 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 the stigma and the, the fear, I guess, that the traditional Cisco engineer had about this, uh, about working with software is starting to go away and it's it's been great for it's been great for the industry fantastic well we'll see you again next year thank you yeah.